Hey everybody! Hi. Just wanna do a quick update video. I don't usually do this. Normally it's a daily vlog where I'm going out and kind of sharing what me and the kids are doing. Trying to have some fun. But you can't do that all the time, especially when you got work. It's my dream someday to be able to do this full time and I think a great opportunity is presenting itself. Always shoot for the stars. Always dream really big. And whenever you can combine your passion and work, you gotta pay the bills. You gotta pay the bills. That's the best place to be. So um, I've been taking every opportunity I could to make videos and content for my company that I work for. I'm hoping it could turn into something really big. At least a full-time role. We'll see. More to follow on that. But the other day I made a video. Here it is. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm sure during your transition you've come across a recruiter or two. You probably even ask yourself, what do they even do? Who? I'm here to answer some common questions you may have about interacting with recruiters and how to leverage relationships with them to help your job search. I used to work in the corporate world as a recruiter for some pretty big companies. Amazon, Starbucks. <laughs> Amazon and Starbucks. Anyways, I used to be a recruiter. Uh, now I currently work for a nonprofit that helps veterans and military spouses find jobs. So I'm happy to be able to combine my experience and where my passions are and kind of put them together. Be able to combine my corporate work experience with my nonprofit work experience with my passion of creating videos. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Anyways, uh, I did want to show you something awesome that I got the other day. The kids broke my last one. I don't know if you saw that vlog, but uh, here it is. It should be one piece. <laughs> I tried to use a popsicle stick to kind of be the support system. The This type of material and this type of material that I couldn't use, even super glue wouldn't hold it together. Gorilla glue. Couldn't do it. No matter how much super glue I used, could not get these pieces back together. I'll try to figure out a way to repurpose it, maybe have it as a as a microphone. Uh, I'll keep this. Let me know if there's a, a way that you guys know how to maybe fix these things. I, I give it up. I'm going with the Rode Video Mic Pro. Hopefully it'll be a nice addition. I'm gonna save up. Next step, switching from <laughs> iMovie, we did Final Cut Pro. I think it makes the most sense for me. I'm a Mac guy. And one of the key takeaways that I get from you know some of the more successful vloggers out there is that you know you don't need much. You know, like with time, just build your repertoire, slowly build your skill set, slowly build your equipment. For the first, literally, if the first 30 something vlogs or so. If you watch them, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Those are those were all shot on my iPhone. So you know, I'm now just starting to get used to using the Canon M50. Um, and so far, so good. I think. What do you guys think? I do got some work to do today, um, but I wanted to give you guys that update. Uh, my goal is to post three times a week. I don't know if I'll always be able to do that, but I think by setting a goal and setting a schedule, I'll have something to work towards. So, so maybe a Monday, Tuesday, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, I don't know. Look forward to using this. Looking forward to some of the things that I got going on at work. Please uh, continue to show your love and your support by subscribing and hitting like and leaving comments. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to building a community and um, yeah, bye.